All right. Welcome back to another episode of Never Island. Sarah's next destination after lunch is a small boxy structure set randomly beside the park. Oh, must be a toilet. <laughs> I'll just kill some time out here. Call me when you're done. Hey, I'm not gonna be shitting with you together. That's a little bit too awkward. Come on, that's sort of, you know? I know girls like going to the bathroom together, but are you scared of going alone? Hey, what? When Sarah holds some sort of a metal car to the toilet entrance... An automatic door? This is some high-tech John! Oh, that's right, I completely forgot. This is the year 20,000 AD. It's not, it's not that surprising that toilet doors should be automa uh, automatic. And there isn't a hint of porcelain anywhere to be found. This really is futuristic! Uh, is this genuinely a toilet? I don't even know anymore. I'm not even sure we're going to a toilet. I step inside just as Sarah instructs and the door shuts itself behind me. It's a single room, just big enough for me to stretch my arms wide. I know the sturdy or two buttons lined up on the wall. I have a feeling I've seen this room somewhere before. The moment Sarah presses one of the buttons, the floor jerks suddenly. It feels almost as, uh, as if it feels almost as if my body's gotten lighter. Whichever you, whichever, whichever way you look at it, this is an elevator. Okay, we're not getting flushed anywhere. <laughs> I generally thought I was gonna get flushed like in Men in Black. Actually, I'm surprised how normal this all seems. Pause. ただ動き始めのふわっとした感じだけは今でも苦手ですけど。Pause. Is it me, or does she seem a bit tense? Never mind, just give this way, so let this, so, so let it slide. I don't have to worry about the She looks proudly at the card she used earlier. This is not a bad thing for money or money. I see, so it's a key to the left. I want to butt in and say it's like getting a driving license, but she's cute, so I'll let it slide. It's one hundred percent like a license! Hmm. I still don't get what's so amazing about it, though. So only a tiny handful of people in the world are, are allowed to use this, huh? もっともっと圏扱いされていた当時は教会の規模ももっとずっと大きく数奇教の上にも役職が存在していたようですがはんんそれもしたかえそれだってガイアットダップわおよりあるプリスペシャルだからそれもしたかえそれだってガイアットダ
すごいんですおそらくこの長いアイランドの歴史の中でも10代で取得したのは私一人かと。Sarah seems to think I was referring to our license, not our bloodline. Septic that neither money nor connections, connections can buy, huh? This might be the only thing she's ever obtained by this sweat of her own brow, for all I know. She's obviously proud of it. I bet,、uh, I bet that's the reason she's being so talkative. Then there's me, job how to get the help of getting my hands on some money, and several fit. Fall I get to this gig through my connections. I can't imagine anyone being proud of that. Everything I have is just borrowed from others. Setsuna san, Kawiro ga sugre na yo desu ga. What? Oh, I must be feeling a bit dizzy. I can't get Sarah's face to stay in focus somehow. So you are a little, what does she mo kuni kimochi ga waru ka? You're w i t h a sheet! I said, What does it mean? I said, What does it mean? Don't tell me you're, you were chattering away just to distract yourself from it? Yes. I was one of the people who were in the house. Whoa, are you okay? <laughs> Come on, don't, don't look down. Just keep talking. We can chat about anything. <laughs> I tried giving her back a vigorous stroke. I doubt it's going to help with the motion sickness, but just keep keeping your mind off it. Should make things easier for her. For her. <laughs> She speaks the floor chattered swellingly, and the lift comes to a halt. That clenched it. Alright. Uh oh. Not my shirt! Don't you dare! When I turn back to Sarah, her cheeks are all puffed up and her eyes are bra- br- brimming with tears. I'm too late. I'm hit with the urge to broad her hamster cheeks. <laughs> But it'd really be hell to pay if I did. <laughs> well, let's just get out of here. Bear with it a little longer if you can, Sarah. Luckily, I'm able to find a belt to lean against for a few minutes. Was it my shirt? On her return, Sarah is still unsteady on her feet, but at least she doesn't seem quite so pale. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like、uh, she will manage. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Or、uh, could her cheeks be flushed for some other reason? Don't worry, I've got no problems with you re- re- relieving yourself in front of me if you need to. No scat, though. That's a bit much. Thank you. Oh,、uh, the colors definitely return to her cheeks now. Jeans, huh? Yes, I'm going to be a little bit of a jeans. I'm going to be a little bit of a jeans. I'm going to be a little bit of a jeans. I'm going to be a little bit of a jeans. Oh, I don't really get it, but that short sounds impressive. So, is she a sit as well? Eh, to, ma. Wazukashinagara. What kind of relationship did Sarah have with Tsuna? <laughs> Sarah grows wide eyed and appears at a total loss for words. She's clearly shocked about something. Ah,、uh, no, I didn't mean that. I'm talking about the figures in the scriptures. Oh, so this is it. Jesus. You parv! Sarah breathes a sigh of relief, then slips back into work mode. Sarah is the one who 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 is 
晴天に何を期待してるんですか、せつなさんは。It's just that the story I heard from Rene was a touch more vulgar. Oh, really? Sara looks away. Oh, my. Oh, that's generally quite interesting. かに、それを示唆する一節はありません。ですが、時系列を追って整理すれば、そんな事実はなかったということがわかります。なんと言ってもサラは聖人。完全無欠の女性なのですから。Right。うん、あたたけのものはダルリーウィダウトファルトインデ
You chose me to be your bodyguard because I do been colorless myself until yesterday, right? People trying to keep the, the straight and narrow would normally harbor some degree of prejudice towards the colorless and likely to try to keep their distance. Whether she's aware of it or not, that must have been what Sarah thought. Given that I was colorless until very recently, I do have been unlikely to reproach her for giving food to the less fortunate. But still, why would Sarah do this? Sarah obviously lives a life of luxury as the Cardinal's daughter. So why would she... Then, interrupting my train of thought... Arigato, the little girl at Sarah's feet beams up at her, clutching a sandwich in both hands. <laughs> Come on, lady! <laughs> oh. <laughs> she disappears into the shadows. <laughs> She's fast as lightning. Yes, they're scared of me. I'm pretty sure to be running for the hills if I try smiling at them. Hmm? Hmm? I make eye contact with a boy who's peering at us over a crumbling wall. Looks like he's been there all along. Sure you don't want one? They're going fast, you know. And furious. No time at all, only a single sandwich is left in the basket. But the boy makes no attempt to come out from the shadows. Are you sure? I'll have it if you want. As I move to pick up the last sandwich, making us go to eat it, suddenly... Whoosh. <gasps> I heard something left, uh, left, fled past my ear and then a sharp yelp. I turn around. Sarah is crushed over, clutching the side of her head. At her feet is uh, at, at, at her feet lies a blood smeared rock. Sarah! Oh! Oh! I'm sure it's not. Let me have a look at it. On reflex, I managed to stop the next stone midair as it flies straight at Sarah's face. Turning back in the direction it came from, I spot the boy from before, gearing up for a third shot. Hey, what are you doing, Brad? The boy looks startled. What, you wanna play ball? Fine, I'll play with you, catch this! I grab the rock in my hand and prepare to throw it. I know, I know, I was just trying to frighten him. I'm telling you, kid, I don't like going geese at people. I'm going to put all my strength into this. But the boy doesn't run away. Instead, he hits straight for me and... He doesn't move a muscle. Amara goes flying off to the side. Why is he not running away? He'd be scared. Me? Hmm? What was that? Hey, hey, that's not very nice. Huh? I bet who? What are you talking about? <laughs> For a moment, my body stiffens at the sound of the boy's words. It's like I've been struck in the head with a blunt object. Having discarded my weakness, the boy dashes away. I'm left through to the spot. Sarah scratches down near me, her basket also sitting close at hand. There's a single sandwich still inside. There were so many children here just a few minutes ago. Now any trace of their presence has vanished. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Uh, are you hurt, Sarah? I kneel down and examine her face. Huh? <laughs> but... 
The glimpse it got tells a different story. Her face is streaked with tears. <laughs> yeah, what is it? She answered, trying her best to keep her face out of view. She must be referring to what the boy uh, said earlier. Yeah, right. I definitely wouldn't forget if it were me. The crime doesn't disappear along with the memories. Forgetting it is without meaning. That's why I'm here. To atone for my crime. I'm here so that one day I'll receive someone's forgiveness. So maybe. Just maybe. Sarah is the same too? Having returned to the to, to the top street, we sit down at the bench where we ate lunch before. The stream of light from the center of the dome gradually tops our frozen bodies and souls. Even Sarah's pallid face has finally returned to its usual healthy shade, although her expression is still clouded. Now that you mention it, that's right, they were all around the same height. Perhaps around elementary school age, final year? It sounds like they, it sounds like they sort themselves by school year. You do expect there to be more variation in their age. I see. So that's what it is. Rene mentioned it in our conversation yesterday. People without colors aren't given any rations. An infant might avoid starvation for a while if each parent shared some of their rations. But after that? Would both parents be able to keep that up until the child could stand on their own two feet? No. Fighting work is impossible without a color to begin with. And who would raise them? If either parent remained out of work, their color would be confiscated and their food taken away. But as long as people carry on as usual with their lives, children are going to be born. Then any newborn babies are... I suppose it's not worth going there. Of course their fates are sealed. There's no way of raising them. Why? I have to wonder if that's really the whole truth. Still, I guess she's co co correct in the sense that there aren't any small children here on the island. So that means the kids back there were... Poor, unfortunate orphans. Forgotten over time, swept away in the wake of reforms. No, that's not quite right. They're not the ones who met with misfortune. They're the lucky ones. The ones who survived. Why would the church push through such a crazy change? Sarah's eyes widen a little, perhaps in shock. It's an obvious question, right? <sighs> After staring at my face for a while, Sarah lets out a despairing sigh. The future? Uh, dreams? Huh? 
They say something weird? かつて豊かだった時代には確かにそうだったのかもしれませんねしかし今のアイランドに夢や希望を追う余裕はありません土は枯れ水は濁り空気は汚れ食料生産の効率は低下の一途をたどっています適切に管理し計画的に消費しなければすぐに枯渇することになるでしょう Dreams may be enough to satisfy the mind, but they won't fill your stomach. A man without hope can still survive. A man without food cannot. w t h a t i a m i r a y o m a m o s e k i n i n g a r i m a s s o n o t a m e n o h i k u s e d o de a r i n i s h i h o s e d o n a n o d e s So basically, you're regulating the population of the island to slow the birth rate because there isn't enough food for everyone. Is that it? No. Regulating isn't, an, isn't a strong enough term. In reality. So, I think that's why I'm going to be a little bit of a problem. I'm going to be a little bit Look up at the sky. These clouds may only be pasted on the ceiling. But it still feels somehow oppressive. I think it's a good thing that I'm going to do. I think it's a good thing that I'm going to do. I think it's a good thing that I'm going to do. I think it's a good thing that I'm going to do. I think it's a good thing that I'm going to do. I think it's a good thing that I'm going to do. I think it's a good thing that I'm going to do. すべては神の定めた宿命なのだと,とか、Sorry. と,とかれながら。サラ、プリンセス・オブ・ディス・アイランド ?Like how she is!She's more of a symbol of the church that everyone so despises.No matter how much she invoked the name of God, there are nothing but murderers in the eyes of the people. 幻滅しましたか ?Disappointed? Why would I be? I'm already pretty used to seeing her cry. Besides, I'm not going to criticize the way the church does things. <laughs> Sometimes you have to sacrifice one thing in exchange for something else. I know that much at least. I'm not a kid. The world doesn't run on hopes and dreams. If two people have only enough food for one, Somebody's going to wind up biting it. They can stubbornly try to hold out together. But how likely is that to work? In the end, the weak must be sacrificed. No one I think dumps or who are never going to accomplish anything in life. Guys like. Well, they're better off dead. And if they won't lie down and die, they shouldn't ever be allowed to forget their crimes. <laughs> その先に本当に未来はあるのでしょうか I don't know. Sarah's mutterings drag me back to reality. おそらくいつまでも認識表の発行制限が続くことはないでしょう。次の世代を生み出せる若者がいなくなれば食料の枯渇を待つまでもなく私たちの未来は途絶えてしまうのですから。おそらくはあと数年のうちに解除されるかと。ですが一度枯れた土が戻ってくるわけではありませんし濁った水が再び澄むわけでもありませんいくら計画的に人工調整を行ったとしても先細りは避けられないでしょう It's almost like you were on a sinking ship Maybe like enough to reach land But unless we do it's only a matter of time before we drown Everyone who's been sacrificed And the lives those sacrifices have saved, it will all go to waste. The church's process is not the only way to go. Then why does everyone follow their teachings so obediently? Everyone is not a good person. But, 
他に方法がないんです今の私たちにできるのは先人のやり方に習うことだけなんです The best dictate is the present. Is that the destiny that God has granted us? もしかしたらこの世界には週末の時が迫っているのかもしれませんね Yeah, maybe. Even if we manage to eke out the future for ourselves, repeating the same actions is not going to change our destination. It won't be a real future. No one, wishes, no one wishes for it to end. Island in Sumu Mino. She was in his time. What they're hoping for is a sliver of happiness. That's all. For the people precious to them to be left smiling. That's the future they want. She was in me. Sarah no yona chikara ga areba. What responsibility falls on those who survived due to the sacrifice of others? Is there anything we can do now while we're standing here alive? Is there some way of changing the future? Here, you have it. <laughs> the last sandwich. You might have to dump everything you ate at lunch. So you must be hungry, surely. <laughs> Sarah's l last for words. Her mind seemingly possessed by the boy's remarks. Honestly, you won't have any strength if you don't eat. But anyway, I forced the sandwich into Sarah's hand. You like corn, don't you? <laughs> then eat as much as you can. I'm sure you can be like the Sarah of the scriptures yourself one day. The kind of girl who, no matter how bleak the future looks, Believes in her own strength and that of the people. <laughs> She answers quietly but firmly before digging into the sandwich with gusto. She's going to be fine. However much reality may stand in her way, her ideals will lend her strength as long as she doesn't forget them. Ideals have the power, they open a way to the future. Our island. What have I learned from shadowing Sarah all afternoon? Namely, that work at a church is extremely tedious. Most of it involves sitting at a desk, doing paperwork, and the rest is listening to the citizens' endless gripes. This and that's broken, so you did my fix it, shut up, my nose neighbors, I'm hungry, I'm cold, I like you, let me marry me, fuck me ass. Yeah, the latter half of that list aren't grabs and innocence, are they? Another thing I realized was that while some residents idolize her, some really don't. Yeah, those who do look up to her treat her like some kind of princess, and those who don't hardly make, it, hardly make eye contact, and that is... And, and, see, and see as little as possible. But there's one thing both groups have in common, and that's their expectations of Sarah. Each and every one of them is looking to free themselves from their present situation. I think, and then they trust and hope onto her. They think she might be able to do something for me, or things might be better if only she would disappear. Sarah doesn't look like doesn't look as if she finds the job itself difficult, per se, but I get a sense that she's fed up with people buying their selfish desires on her. Sarah said to herself, she wants to save the island. She wants to make everyone happy. But do those words really come from her heart? We humans are always trying to ri rise uh, to each other's expectations. We're social creatures. It's a way of reaffirming our own self-worth. In responding to the needs of others, though, we de develop our own issues. Inferiority complexes, even superiority complexes. We forget our own wishes. When we finally notice, it's after we've already been swallowed up by society. Now little more than cogs in the machine. Sarah's wish is a remarkable one. 
I want to cheer her on. I want to do whatever I can to help make it come true. Now, someone as brilliant as her can manage can can manage it without my help. What will be, what will she be left feeling once her wish has been granted? A sense of satisfaction for having at last achieved something, or one of emptiness for having lost her purpose in life? Or might she? Or might she then discover her true desires? When I said this to the guard who saved me yesterday, he just laughed at me and called me a funny guy. And... According to him, one's purpose in life is something that's created, not discovered. He told me I would understand when I'm older, but we're not that different in age, him and I. Of course, he went on to tell me the location of that brothel which specializes in housewives, saying, All their women are great, they're full of life experience. And they're going there! I met the younger girls! Somebody call police on him! Oh wait, we're right next to police! Saying that, I'm not so great with kids. Guess the winning combo would be a baby face and really giant Boops. Hi? Nanika Ding ding ding, we got a winner! <laughs> Crap, did I say that out loud? Nothing, just thinking about what I'm going to toss together for dinner tonight. Now, it's usually Rene who. Wait, the only meals she's given me have consisted of bread and nothing else. And I get the feeling that I'm good at cooking. Somehow... It might be good to cook something for them. I need to thank her for saving me. Okay. Oops. Uh, you know... Just thank her for everything she does each day. Express my general gratitude. I don't look the type. Kinda rude. She's right though, I don't look like her brother, but yeah, cooking something for her might not be a good I bad idea, it is a good idea, it is a good idea! The problem is deciding what to make. From what I've seen, the only ingredients available are bread, red meat, and flour of some sort. If it's even is flour! And not anything shady. Oh! Spices, huh? I might even be able to make some curry. Don't worry about me. I've just been standing around most of the time. Sarah lets out a small sigh and smiles as though to hide her exhaustion. Well, she did have to tend to all those people, and except for a concussion from one of them. So, Harris? Harris? Oh, the guy with the housewife fetish. <laughs> How should I put it? He helped me out. He helped, he helped me out a while back. I decided to just gloss over the details. I can't tell her I got totally lost right next to my own house. He was a knight too, so that makes him my senpai then. I should have addressed him more politely. First, <laughs> the first thing I said to him today was, Oh, you're that cougar chasing from yesterday. He did come back at me with, Hey, you're that guy who was trying to get with an underage hacker last night. <laughs> what the hell were, were we doing having such a risky conversation in the middle of the church? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely... It definitely wasn't a big deal. Yeah, 
She makes a lot of sense, but... Hmm... Why does he have to respect a guy with a housewife fetish? I mean, everyone has their own kings, bro. Unlike you, who needs to get it checked in a police station or an asylum. Thanks for taking the trouble to see me off. I can't go. It's not a kid. The chair was walk along side by side beneath a starry sky. I have to say, this weird night real really does give me the creeps. Oh, she's a perceptive one. You love at the church, don't you? What if anything happens to you on your way back? Uh, it's my job. Sarah jokes and chuckles to herself. It's a wonder that she's so optimistic after what happened this afternoon. This afternoon, well, from what I've from what I've gathered these past couple of days, the security is worse than the lower strata, so she should be safe up here. Though I have to say, nowhere on the island is exactly safe. Sarah stops at the top of the staircase leading down to the second stratum. Don't worry, taking the stairs will be good exercise for my legs. And I may be blessed with a glimpse up someone's skirt. I told you, didn't I? I don't believe in God. But I do have faith in what lights up through skirts. <laughs> Alright. Thanks. She just brushes off! <laughs> and I get reprimand to boot. Hmm. Sarah's went tough quickly when she's in work mode. Must be what comes of facing all those people day in and day out. Yeah, I'm thinking of making some curry. I don't really know what Renelle likes, but most kids are into curry. Yeah, I think of making some curry. I don't really know what Renelle likes, but most kids are into curry. Yeah, I think of making some curry. I don't really know ハンバーグこそが真の伝統料理だと主張することもいますが、製法が失われてしまった今となっては、もはや伝統とは呼べないのではないかと。It's just my uh, immense pork and breadcrumbs, right? ですが、聖典によると、ハンバーグカレーという究極の料理があったとかなかったとか。These scriptures sound more like a recipe collection than a holy text. <laughs> if I had to choose... Wait! Don't just assume I throw corn in there! Don't look at me like I'm an alien! It's not that shocking! Sarah forces a can of corn into my hand. Where were you hiding that? Don't just stash away extra cans! And watch what you're drawing! I can't keep up with her antics. I think it's probably the best thing to do. The corn is coming out, so the corn is going to be in the corn. Then, the corn is going to be in the corn. I get it, I get it. I'm grateful that you're letting me have it. You can calm down. I'm not sure how we ended up here, but it looks like corn curry is on the menu tonight. Will I manage all right if I've only ever made curry from a packet before, though? Well, it's a traditional dish, so I'm sure I can just ask the store owner. Hmm? That's right, I don't have any money. Can you manage to remember that now? Sarah panics, digging her, digging in her pockets. 
申し訳ありません私そびれていました I think that envelope jaffers Oh, it's sicker than I thought it would be Well, that's not surprising There's obviously been a fair amount of currency inflation here on the island 教会の規定に従い日給1億円となります Hundred million dear A hundred million My family will be living in the lap of luxury for generations Am I in heaven? Nope, none of that I hear it's easy. Almost too easy. Nope. So then, we'll see you again tomorrow. You can count on me. I'll work super duper hard. Yeah, work and learn. Hehehehehe. 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 Hehehehe. Hehehehehe. 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 I was close. I was about to get carried away and head for that joint that the captain recommended. How many millions of yen would, ma would the madame ask for once I step inside? I wonder. <laughs> I still have no idea if that makes it cheap or massively overpriced. Is this a whole bag? I don't need that much, really. Setsuna-kun's economy na rashi kata nae. Hanpukuro de 1,500 man yen de dou dai? Wow, that's pretty affordable. I mean, it's still the price of a block of apartments, but you know, a shall you can skim a little more of the price, you know, like that for renaters. Are you ready, Nechan? Gente, screw this lolicon. I just have to use those tastes to my advantage. I think I got something good in the heart for Renée. I mean, her growth is kind of stunted, don't you think? Particularly in the chest department. That's what I would suggest. One cup of lemon is worth 50 of vitamin C. A magical tablet. For 100 days, it costs about 1,980 yen. You're trying to sell me something, girl? Setsuna Kun is here. The second round is also healthy, bimbing. 古代流の尻尾から抽出した栄養ドリンク3回分6900万円<笑> !6 to 9 million! First of all, nice. Secondly! I don't need anything like that! I'm up and ready to go to third time round! けど問題は硬さだよ。彼女さんは本当に今の刹那くんに満足してるのかなうーん。I was called a lab dick yesterday, can't I think of it? It's actually more important than science. Hey! I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Oh, that's actually within my budget. I'm going to go to the next one. Fine, I'll take it. That sounds like I even have a girlfriend. Hey, my dog. I'm going to go to the next one. I'll take the goods and stuff them deep into my deep into my rock sack. Yep, I'm happy with my purchases. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh crap, that's right. It was 15 million yen for a health back, right? I don't I don't have enough cash. Um 13 million? Ah, go in you. Sasagani Sokumada Makiraranaina. I'm afraid I'll have to return to the stuff I just bought in exchange for the spot. Ah, ma, ma, it's not there. So in that time, it's just a good thing. Oh my God! He looks around and brings me something from the back of his shop. A carton? Almond and curry. So in that time, you can buy curry with curry. It's a good thing. So did you have the package time? The letter that the carton makes it a little hard to read. It's not warm one, but where? Not to one bag, it's only 158 yen. What a bargain! しかも二箱で三百万円ポッキリ。Deal. My dog. My luck is feeling pretty heavy, but I think I managed to get some good deals. 今後もベイカー雑貨店をご引きに。The shop owner is staring behind me for some reason. I start to see me off. Now to hurry home and make her the curry. Just as I'm readjusting the position of my rucksack. Ah, that was. The sensation around my midriff. It can only be. Karen. I'm young. 
And you're that girl! From yesterday! I knew it! That kid again! She glanced at me while feeling around her middle with one hand. But. Is she looking for her knife? Oh, yeah, we have it. She's certainly defenseless. It's Karen, right? Karen Quirds. Well, that's what the girl called you yesterday. Plus, it's written right here on this knife. I think I got a butterfly knife from my pocket that show it to her. No. Yeah, she take it from me! Wait a sec, calm down! Do you really want to start what, what vomiting? Something in a busy area like this? Why did vomiting keep to my, it came into my mind? Excuse me. She folds the knife shut. Maybe she's taking my point? But the look in her eyes still betrays only hostility. Jeez. It's okay, I still haven't told anyone about you yet. Mother. I mean, I won't tell anyone for as long as I live. I'll keep it between us. Wait, 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 why is she trying to lead me down some dark alley? I'll scream, you know? Um, I'm friends with the captain of the guard, you know? Oh, was he? What the hell kind of establishment was the mom working at? Oh, well, I'm pretty close with that certain Sarah Garland. Sarah Garland? Oh, that stopped her in her tracks. Looks like dropping Sarah's name has had some effect. Yeah, for real, and I'm her bodyguard too. Yeah, it's working alright. Still, for me to be protected by Sarah's name when I'm meant to be her bodyguard is pretty pathetic. Anta, wa? Before I can even answer, she tucks under the neck of my shirt. Right? I feel like I've heard your name somewhere before too. But. Karen looks up at me with suspicion. That expression, those mannerisms, they do feel familiar. Um, any chance that we met before a long time ago? It sounds like Karen's really racking her brain. I don't know, I think I asked her too many questions. Is she okay? I feel like smoke's going to come streaming out of her head at any moment. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you would be. That's true. She's a colorless, just like the others I saw today. So colorless, kids can't even go to school, huh? I'll teach you whatever you want, okay? Anything you want, it's like it's easy. Huh? Sarah told me. The ban on colors is the, the ban on colors is going to be lifted sometime. The ban is only meant to act as a, as population control. Keeping it in place forever would mean no more children. The end of humanity. So you should get your color one day. You need to study up for when that time comes. <laughs> But Karen. Okay, uh, what should I call you then? <sighs> Karen lets out an exasperated sag, then examines my face again. This time I don't feel the same hostility in her gaze that I did earlier. And I'm here to live. But yeah, well, I don't want to be killed. My grand plan to avoid that is simple to get along with you a bit better, Karen Chan. 
Karen lowers her head and mutters under her breath. Perhaps she's worried about being washed. Or maybe she, she just doesn't want me to see her face. It's tough living on the wrong side of the law. Flustered, she slaps both her hands over her mouth and looks frantically around. Ooh, I'm now. She's still out of blood. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> uh, is that why she's taking me down this back alley? Uh, that's okay, I'm kinda tired after work. Hey, なもん持ってんなところついて最初からその気だったんじゃねえかスケベ。だんだんだろうとまあ。なんだこの菓子スーパー。え、さっきあれ、ちょっとみんなもんてよ、タブレット。後から飲みそはもっと高いぞ。し
Karen stares at my face and mutters something under her breath. I'm not after anything. I was faced with a hungry child, and I happened to have a bit of extra food. Sharing it with her made total sense. Though I guess you could say it's all part of my grand plan to get along with you a bit better, Karen-chan. Right. Consider it an investment for your future. When you become a proper working woman like your mom, I'll ask for you. To say you have no future is plain nonsense. No matter how dire the situation, there's always a way forward. Spread your wings, my little Madame Butterfly. Aim for the very top! I wonder if that's enough to pursue her. Ah, makase toke. Hey, well, that's what she's, what she herself wants. All right, I'm off home now. Carrie takes quite a bit of time to cook. Taku, shane na. <sighs> Looks like it works. I'm young! I'm not some old man! My name's Setsuna! Karen leaves, not a hint of shine and it's in her face. You know, there's really nothing at all charming about this killed. Felt like we did met once a long time ago. But it looks like I was mistaken. Still, in four or five years' time. I bet you'll grow into a fine young woman. I hope things around here will have improved a li little by then, though. Ah, so, so. To. What? Hmm? What is it? She said she suddenly right in front of me again, standing at the tips of her tops. Mm. Huh? What? What? Mm. Well, uh, uh, what the? My heart's pounding like crazy! I can hardly get a word out! That's a policeman! Come over here! This guy's crazy! Uh, I guess he's fine, right? That's okay, isn't it? You could've just said thank you. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant. Karen runs off, cheerfully waving me goodbye. Just what is running through that mind of hers? I have no idea. Hmm. Again? I brush my lips. The taste, of, the, the taste she left on them is kind of familiar. Okay. Been recording for over an hour. So it's a good time to start.